Hey guys, I'm back to watch episode 17 of Code Geass, and man, last episode, we basically find out about Suzaku killing his father. I didn't see that coming, but you know what? That explains his behavior, because I'm over here thinking, why is Suzaku going so hard fighting for the Britannia Empire? He's low-key, high-key, explicitly complicit in what Britannia is doing to Japan. Now, to be honest, I get it. Like, I get why he's doing it. He wants to do it so there's no more death. When he was walking through that field of bodies of men, women, and children with Lelouch and, and Nunnally, I cannot even, honestly, children of war to this day, they go through that. Like that is so traumatizing. So we honestly, you can't really judge course of action on how um, people choose to cope with stuff like that. Can, uh, like, imagine seeing all your people being killed. And the fact of the reality is, is that they're, they've taken over. So what, it, Suzaku, pro, Suzaku was probably like, what can I do to help the situation or just prevent more casualties? Now, some people may argue Suzaku, I, some people, the JLF, over here, even though Suzaku is an honorary Britannian, now the Japanese are going to have loyalty, in a sense, to Suzaku because he's Japanese, but at the same time, he's still the child of the man who the people feel like betrayed them. Now the guilt Suzaku must feel for his father being seen by the rest of the Japanese as someone who betrayed them. Mao said it best last episode. He says, you just want to make yourself feel better so you're putting your life on the line hoping that you would die, essentially. Now, I saw some of you guys in the comments saying like that, that last episode was a weaker episode and I feel you for that because we got a whole episode for Callan, um, and her whole mother thing, but I felt like that episode was more not only to show what's going on with Callan, but to show like how the rest of Japanese society has been affected besides being killed and like the verbal abuse. There's drug addiction. How are the Japanese coping with what's going on? Drug addiction. And they brought up that I think, I could be wrong, that the Chinese Federation was supplying the Japanese drugs. Right? That was brought up, right? I, I could be wrong. It's either it was the Chinese or it's, what, the Britannia supplying drugs to the people? But I think it was the Chinese. Now, the Chinese Federation being brought up twice now, I think they've been brought up twice now. That's planting the seeds for us as the audience. So later on, when the Chinese, what, I guess become bigger, a bigger play at hand, that's no surprise. The Chinese Fed Federation is, it's like no surprise. Like they're just not coming out of nowhere. The Chinese Federation has been working behind the scenes. Now I could be wrong guys, like I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's right. And you know, Mao, man, he, his story, his, his whole thing was super tra tragic. I, I felt so bad. Like, first of all, Cece's a freaking predator. She was like, she was the first person to love him. She was his lover, his friend. Girl, he was six years old. So you telling me you groomed him. You met him when he was six, groomed him, gave him the power, the gios at six years old, thinking a six-year-old kid is going to conquer the gios with your guidance, I guess? Girl, like she, some, Cece is not, I mean, I never really thought she was like good or bad. But she has her own intentions and she was like, she told Mal, wait for me in C's world. What does that mean? Do the people who get the Gios, do they go somewhere? Like what? I, you know, Cece, I'm looking at her real sideways. Like she's a predator, dude. She is a real predator. She's gross. I'm not messing with her. Like I don't, I don't like her. Because Mal, that was her fault. That was her fault. And I'm glad Lelouch called her out on it. You know, she called her out. She, he was like... You want to, you abandoned him and left him to deal with the type of power he had. Mal went crazy. He was insane. So, you know, yeah, I'm, t I feel like I'm talking too much. All right, let's get, get to it. Oh man. Be to destroy the world or build a new one. And it, I think this speaks to Lelouch letting that go. Re Lelouch refuses to let his mother being murdered go and honestly can't blame him. Come on now. Let's be real here. Can't blame him at all. 
It's like how far... Well, he has already decided that he's going to kill... In it, like, he's okay with killing innocent people to reach his goal. So, I was about to say how far is he willing to go, but he's willing to go far. He killed Clovis point blank. And it's kind of easy to forget for me. I don't know about... It's kind of easy to forget. Like, Clovis was his brother, dude. <laughs> like, he's, like, willing to kill his siblings. Now, I'm sure he probably didn't have no real emotional connection with them. I don't know, but still, like, dang. But although Clovis was participating in colonizing and killing people, so there's that. But still, he could focus on building a peaceful world for Nunnally, you know? Cece, I don't, I just, I don't know about her, man. I don't know about her. And it speaks to she killed Mao in the end. Is she gonna kill Lelouch in the end too? Because he's gonna end up going crazy as well? I don't know. Is she gonna have to start over? Right? Lelouch just said, Suzako, at least I understand that. We understand now. That's a fact. And some of you guys in the comments were like, "We he should have got his own episode. And I totally filled you for that. I would think this episode would be a flashback. Oh, he actually mentioned it was hard for him to kill his half-brother. Huh. I'm dead. And it's crazy. He got to keep up with these school tasks as if none of that shit was happening. <laughs> but seriously, though. Suzaku killing his father? Mm. So what? So what? They're a quarter eleven, but... Wow. Wow. Yo, this is literally what happens in history. The oppression. And you know the Pretendians can't let an 11 or anybody part 11 have any type of recognition. And I swear to God, Ogi better not be falling in love with Viola. Violetta. Have Suzaku execute Toto? Oh my goodness. Yo, if they get Suzaku to uh, uh, execute Toto, that would be his act of loyalty to the Pretoria Empire. And not only that, the Japanese will lose faith in him. She don't want none of them. She wants Suzaku. Oh my goodness. Poor Suzaku, man. Mm. Yes. You need someone to protect Nunnally. He's got to set things up for his sister. She gonna tell him he gotta execute Toto. Oh, he's gonna ask him to protect Nunnally, and Yuffie's gonna ask Suzaku to be his knight. It's like choosing sides, essentially. Nothing better happen to Nunnally in the future. Ooh, asking all the right questions. Mmm, Yuffie's not all into the politics like that. She's not really good at, uh, you know, coming up with stuff on the spot. And plus, Yuffie is like the most humane person out of the Britannians. Oh, there's Rakshada! Wow, upgraded. What does that mean? Improves your life expectancy. What, the shock of piling the robot or something? I knew it. I knew it. They were going to have Suzaku XM. That is so symbolic. Oh my gosh, Suzaku. This is so he can prove himself. Because that one officer already told him, you need to prove yourself to us. <gasps> Toto taught him how to fight. I'm dead. I can't with Lloyd. He was like something to end the paperwork. Oh my goodness. Woo! Yo, the mental mind games these people be playing. Wow, look at their swords. Oh! Oh my god, that guy's dead. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Zero is that girl. Ooh, take responsibility. Wow. 
Oh, he's telling him he's don't give up. She's going to select the one quarter blooded uh, picture, and that's going to be symbolic too. Is she going to do it? No, she's not going to do it. Come on, Yuffie, think for yourself. Wow, this is a coordinated attack. We love organization, guys. Break him out of there. Look at those swords. What? That thing has hair? <laughs> this is a turning point. Not only has Zero inspired hope into Toto to keep fighting. Oh man, that and causing that morale to go up. Wow, now he has he's in cooperation with them. Oh, now the media knows. Wow, even Rakshada thinks the Lancelot's not that big of a deal. Whoa! Oh man, see, Britannian Force is gonna have to come up with something new. He has his move mo movements down to a T! Oh! That's Suzoku! He trained with Toto, so of course he knows! Toto's not gonna want to kill him when he sees who it is. Huh? He didn't know that? Wait a minute, guys, I'm lost. He didn't know Suzaku was piloting the Lancelot? How did he not know that? Of course the public doesn't know. Oh! Oh! I'm so confused, guys. I thought Lelouch knew that. Yo, it's all these ideologies against each other. Yo, okay, I guess when Lelouch saved Suzaku in the beginning, he didn't know that they picked him for the Lancelot. I thought he knew the whole time. Oh my god, this is the first time Lelouch has been stuck. No, 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 you can't kill him. Oh! Damn, they're gonna be looking at him like, why? Okay, yeah, they gotta get, they really gotta go. Oh my goodness. Nobody knew. It was only a few select people, a part of the Britannian army that knew. Oh! Media is going to have a field day with that. Oh my goodness. This is so sad. Oh my gosh. Lelouch looks crazy. Oh gosh. Guys. Oh my goodness. I... I don't know why I thought this whole time Lelouch knew Suzaku was in the Lancelot. I don't know why I thought he knew that. It's because whenever he saved Suzaku, he knew Suzaku was fighting or was working with the military, but he didn't know he was piloting the Lancelot. He didn't know he was the pilot. I thought he knew he was the pilot. I don't know why I thought that. Oh my gosh. Yuffie wanting Suzaku to be, you got, first, hold up, hold up, hold up. You got Lelouch wanting Suzaku to be essentially Nunnally's knight, and Yuffie wants him to be his knight. So what is Suzaku going to choose? I think it's out. I think it's out now. I don't think Lelouch is going to want uh, Suzaku to be pre be uh, Nunnally's protector. Zero has inspired hope and increased the morale for Toto. Toto is an uh, excellent. Toto is an excellent tactician. And he's proven himself to zero from the battle he won from seven years ago. So with Toto, the JLF, Toto, the JLF, and the Black Knights working together, they're a formidable force. And they got support from Kyoto and Rakshada. They're going to prove to be, like, they've already proven they're uh, a great enemy or a force against Britannia. But now, I don't know. I don't even know. 
they're gonna Lloyd and his crew. They're gonna have to increase the Lancelot because freaking Lelouch has already locked down how the he fights, how the uh, Lancelot fights, in the fighting style. I I think Lelouch is. I think that whole scene at the end of him laughing like that. Now I could that could just be for a dramatic effect, but for him laughing like that realizing he's been fighting his best friend the whole time is this like the first hint of lelouch losing his mind and cc is over here standing over him looking at him like <sighs> she's an observer and depend like depending on what lelouch does next like he's gonna first off you're gonna have the toto and his people they're gonna be asking him questions why did before britannia showed up he didn't he wasn't saying nothing Zero would have killed Suzaku then. They, he would have been like, kill him now. Get him out of the way now. But he didn't. And I wonder if they're going to be asking questions on why he hesitated. But the Britannian force showing up, it kind of helps him like get away with that or cover it. Because they had to retreat anyway. There was just too many. So, um... And another thing. Ogi over here eating Violetta's food. Bro, what are you doing? Bro, what are you doing? Violetta is going to get her memory back. Shirley is going to... She, she found the piece of paper she had written and it crumbled up. She found that paper and she's going to be asking questions. I wonder how strong the gas's power is because... She, can she get her memory back? Violetta is going to get her memory back and Ogie's over here compromising the whole team. Now, there's just so much going on. There's so much going on. But I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Don't forget to leave a like, guys. Really appreciate it if you guys leave a like. Um, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.